Hello guys, my name is Matthew Smith, and it's sectional time. We have a great lineup of interviews for you. Let's not mess around, and let's go to Nate and Coach Miners. Coach, last we saw the Trojans had a tough loss to Ron Colley. What did you and the team take away from that game? Yeah, it was really a tough loss, you know, um, but we knew going into the game it was going to be a tough battle. Uh, anytime we line up with Ron Colley, it's a really tough physical matchup. Uh, well, honestly, we know each other really well. We, we know, um, you know, what they like to do. They know what we like to do. Uh, so it's a battle. Um, it's a battle. Uh, what we took away from there is, you know, every game, whether you win or lose, you gotta you got to take some learning experience and try to apply it uh, the following week. And really what we took out of there is we there's a lot of positives within our passing game offensively that uh, we threw the ball a little bit more than we typically do uh, with 27 pass attempts against Ron Colley. Uh, but we ended up with five turnovers offensively. And anytime you have five turnovers offensively, it's really difficult to win a game. But, uh, you know, there were a lot of positives. I thought we battled really well. Um, it, it was a really tight game, you know, up until really, really late in the fourth quarter. So I'm proud of our guys and the way we battled. Uh, we just got to take care of kind of those details. Um, and we've been doing that during practice is going back to those details, going back to those small things uh, in order to try to prepare ourselves to win a football game. Mm -hmm. Uh, as the offensive play caller, is there any difference between how you prepare for a playoff game versus a regular season game? Um, not really. Um, you, you know, you, you have more film, so there's a lot more preparation from that standpoint. Uh, this year we had a bye week, so we really had two weeks uh, to prepare for this Seymour team that we're getting ready to face. So a lot of film study, a lot of things like that. But as far as do you go through anything differently, no. I, I think you got to keep your process and you got to tr trust your process of uh, the way you evaluate teams, uh, the way that you prepare your players uh, to go out and perform on a Friday night. Now, the, the only thing I will say about the playoff game is typically you have to expect the unexpected. Um, so there's a lot more little fine-tuned uh, game scenarios that you're really challenging the players with during practice. So that way when you get in the game. Um, we, we have faced a lot of teams that you see on film that they run one particular defense. Well, they come out and they adjust and do something else. So you got to prepare your players for the, those adjustments and walk through those things. And uh, we've been really fortunate that we've had two weeks to be able to to take care of some of that stuff. That that and uh, um, you know, if you only have four practices within a week, that's really tough to get to some of those fine-tuned things. But uh, with really you know two full weeks to prepare, uh, we've gotten really into those details. Uh, really broke down to see more defense. Uh, really well and I think we have a really good game plan. I think we have a good game plan to come out uh, perform well. Look, we, we only scored seven points on, on offense and we scored or and we turned the ball over five times offensively and um, I'll, I'll take some blame in that, um, you know, calling the plays uh, too and not having the guys prepared as a head coach as, as much as they need to. But our offense feels like they have something to, to, to prove on Friday night and uh, they really want to go out and perform well. Uh, can you share your thoughts on the Seymour defense? Are there any players in particular that we should watch out for? Yeah, so, um, you know, number 84, he, first of all, he's the best offensive player. He's the best defensive player. He's, he's a really, really fine uh, high school football player. Um, he's a really, really good athlete. And uh, number 42 is an inside linebacker, has all kinds of tackles. Um, you know, he's... He's tough. Um, he's a tough nose downhill type of player. Um, then number 38 is a defensive lineman uh, that has all kinds of TFLs on the year, uh, tackles for loss. And um, he's not the biggest guy in the world. They're not the biggest defensively, but what they really do is they use their quickness well um, and, and their speed well to get in gaps. And that's going to be really, really difficult for our guys. You know, we've been practicing um, all week or all the last two weeks for, for that type of defense. Uh, they really remind me a lot of our defense. You know, maybe a little undersized at certain positions, but play really hard, um, angle really well. And, and try to utilize their speed. So um, th those are definitely the three guys that are at the top of our scouting report. And, uh, you know, if we don't block them, uh, if we don't take care of them uh, scheme-wise in the passing game, it could be a long night for us. But, but again, I feel pretty good about where we're at. Pr feel pretty good about our game plan to take care of those guys. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. What's going on, Trojan fans? My name's Jamison West, and I'm here with East Central linebacker Alex Kuhn. So, Alex... The Trojans finished 6-3 and three in the regular season. Can you give us a recap of how our defense performed? Uh, our defense played really well, especially last week. Uh, we had a very good game. We held them really strong throughout the game, pl played our defense well, and yeah. Hmm. All right. What are your thoughts on Seymour's offense? Uh, Seymour, I mean, they've got a good team. Uh, they got a really good dude, number 84, but we've been practicing all week, and I, we know what they're going to do, and we're prepared for it. That's good. You guys faced a tough battle against Rollin College since last time we saw you. What did you take away from that game? 
Uh, some things we took away is we definitely, we got to get moving at a faster pace, especially on offense. Uh, defense just needs to come out and play hard again. We just got to rally around, make big plays, create turnovers. That's going to be the biggest thing. And just put points on the board. Oh, all right. Well, thank you for talking with me. Yep. Hey guys, I'm Colton Clem, and I'm here with junior East Central quarterback Nolan Maple. Nolan, the Trojans finished 6-3. and three. Can you give us a recap of what the offense was like this season? So the offense, we started off slow. Like towards the beginning of the season, we started off real slow. We've gotten better throughout the year. We've had our highs and lows, but we've gotten a lot better throughout the year. It's good to hear. Good progress. Now, I also noticed you guys faced a tough battle against Ron Colley since the last time we saw you. What did you take away from that game? We just got to play better. I mean, it's they were a tough team. We had that kind of middle of the season where, I mean, we played well, but then we placed, we faced that tough team, and, I mean, they showed us that we were not good enough to beat them. Some good competition out there. Mm -hmm. Now, finally, what are your thoughts on the Seymour's defense? They're good. They're a good team. It's playoff time. Anything could happen. So we just got to be ready to go tonight, and we – Got to play well. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for this interview. And I wish you the best of luck against Seymour. Thanks. This is Colton Clem signing off. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check our social media. Well, catch you later.